Hello, Trip Zero here, and I've got an exciting little experiment that I'm doing today. This is going to be awesome. So, you might ask, well, what is this? Well, um, let's back up a bit. So, let me disconnect this camera, and I'll show you guys around my bedroom. Just a bit. So, over here, in this container, in this Tupperware container, we've got, if you can see, growing plants. So we open that up. You can see the beautiful, beautiful leaves of this Adriana lettuce. And it's just been pleasing me to no end. I'm just amazed, absolutely amazed, at the growth and just health of these leaves. We had some today when we went on a family outing. We had some uh, on our sandwiches and it was great. So I've been growing that and if you look on top I've got these lights. These, uh, if you've seen my other videos, I've modified these 50 watt grow, uh, floodlights into grow lights. So they've got red and blue LED diodes in them super efficient and they just they're just working absolutely amazing on these uh this adriana lettuce so but this is kind of hokey right this is not a very good setup like it's it's coming through here this is diffuse you know it's blocking some of the light absorbing some of the light doesn't let it all through i've been using two of these actually I've got two here um and i want to end up i want to use four because i'm not you know distributing the light evenly enough across the whole uh, you know the whole grow area so in there in the back I've got some seedlings growing behind those other ones and those aren't getting as much light as these ones in front where that are directly under this 50 watt so I thought you know I need to spread the light out more and that brought me to come up with this guy. I know what you're thinking. This is just a cookie sheet, right? Right? That's exactly what it is. So I'll put this guy back and I can show you guys exactly what this is. Pardon my feet. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So it's a cookie sheet, right? Wrong. Check out the check notice the back. So it's got these little markings, that's kind of weird for a cookie sheet, and it's got a power supply. Why would a cookie sheet have a power supply? Flip it over, this is aluminum. Mind you, that comes important later. Flip it over, ta-da! We have, right now, four LEDs. These are all grow LEDs. Um, these ones are uh, this one's got the cover on it, but it's not hooked up, so it doesn't matter. Um, these ones are the blue and the reds combined, and this one is blue only. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to use this, set this on top of the uh, growing area instead of what I've got now. And it should give me plenty of light. They're all 50 watt LED diodes. Just um, it's going to be amazingly bright. So the aluminum part the, that's re really important here is the aluminum will help spread the heat evenly across the thing. And I don't know exactly if you know this is going to get too hot. I'm gonna. That's why I brought in here. I got my handy dandy. You've seen these in other videos. My thermal imaging thermometer. So I'm going to be using that. We're going to be hooking this up. That's what the power supplies are for. These, um, this is actually uh, set up to go in my greenhouse to power several different things. This is a 12 volt and this is a 24 volt. These are going to be powering my lights. The big old 600 watt uh, buck or boost converter here. Um, need that 600 watts because it's going to be powering about, I think, she's 12. 12 LED diodes, 30, 12, 30 watts. 
Anyway, you can see that, I think, have I done a video on that? I'm not sure. Uh, if I haven't, maybe I should. But anyway, really excited. This is going to be, um, for today, for right now, we're going to be powering our system. We're going to turn it on. We're going to see how hot it gets. And we're probably going to turn it off if it gets too hot, right? We're only powering, if you notice, I've only got two, two of the LEDs hooked up right now. We'll only be powering on those. So I am going to do this live for your viewing enjoyment. I'm going to be hooking up live and hopefully not killing myself or lighting anything on fire. But who knows? Maybe I'll do that. Might be fun. Okay. So let's get this hooked up. Right there. This will be our ground. And these cables really aren't thick enough to be handling the amount of power needed to push through this cable right here. It's not that thick. But for this short experiment with only two lights, I think we'll be okay. that nice and tight now we've got our power this is a US style plug the white is neutral and the black is live so that's important AC power so we'll get that hooked in here. It's not exactly this this layout I've done in this case. It's not exactly ergonomic, not exactly friendly. But we will make do what we have. We will make this work by George and by all that is technologically savvy. Okay. Oh, let's see. Let's power it up, right? Plugging it in. Hmm. All right, we're going to have to unplug something because we've got too many things plugged in. It just got quieter, didn't it? So uh, you may not have seen, there is a light down here in the corner. And I'm not going to touch it, but it went on. That means we got power. Okay. Pardon my feet again. I'm on the floor in my bedroom because that's where I'm growing my Adriana lettuce. Okay, let's rotate this a bit. And let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's set this up maybe like this. We don't want it exactly on the carpet. Let's move it up. We don't want it exactly on the carpet, but we don't want it like shining right at the camera that will blind us so let's not do that let's put it kind of at an angle like this okay and i've already got this power supply tuned in so it'll push out about 80 watts constant current and this will fill it feed it uh, i've got it tuned to accept 24 volts which this is so let's get it going let's so automatically you see we have light, purple, pink, whatever color you want to call it, light. All right. Now, one thing I didn't do is I could have added some black tape to make it so I can read better. The aluminum has very low emissivity. So it's not going to emit too much radiation for this sensor to pick up. Um, but if we have some tape over it, this is the trick, if we have some like tape over it like this, we can shine 
the light, you know, sent around the tape, and that will emit enough radiation for our sensor to pick up. So, all right, we're 26. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's getting real warm. It's warm. It's not hot. It's getting warm around it, like right on, on the thing. It's pretty hot. So it says 27. So maybe we shine on the plastic. Plastic is 29. Let's let that warm up a bit. Um, let me think. Is there any like tape I can find? Here we go, black tape. Gorilla tape. All right, this will work great. Okay, black Gorilla tape. You never know what you have laying around. It's coming handy. Okay, let's feel this real quick. If it starts smoking, we're not, we know we're in trouble, right? Okay, so let's... Where should we put this? Put it like right here. So black tape, black things emit radiation a lot more than not black things. So this will be great. So if the plastic starts to melt, we know it's way too hot. Ooh, that is really hot. Okay. So the idea is I'm going to test it and I'm going to make sure. Oh, it's getting oh, 80. Woo. Yeah, this is way too hot. Okay. That one's only 49. Huh. But it's bouncing all over the place. Yeah, they're both. This one's a lot. Yeah, yeah, that one's way hotter. Okay, they're hot enough. I want to turn it off now. Anything above 45, I started to get a little nervous. It shouldn't get hotter than 45. And this, the heat isn't spreading. Like down here, it's cold. It's cold down here. It's, it's warm up here, and it's hot right there. Okay, I'm going to turn it off. That's way too hot. I don't like it being that hot. And what I think I'm going to have to do, I'm either going to have to mount some uh, heat sinks or what I'm really hoping to do is just put some CPU coolers, you know, pump water through it with a small reservoir. Perfect heating. It's going to get take away all the heat. It's going to be amazing. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. We, we can't just leave it like this. I wish... Yeah, especially with five LEDs going, I don't think there's a way we can get away with just having a sheet of aluminum. Even if, for example, I was thinking we could, you could, uh, on the inside, you could put a sheet of copper, and copper has just amazing heat conductivity. It'll transfer heat, it'll suck it right out of those lights, and it'll spread it really quickly. Copper's great like that. Aluminum's pretty good, not as great as copper though. Copper's like amazing at it. So I was thinking, you know, put a put a small sheet there. It'll spread it out more evenly because as as we just observed, like it's super hot right here and it's cold down here. That's not a fast enough heat transfer for us to make a difference. Now this is a cheap cookie sheet, mind you. Um, I didn't go with like a. I mean this is cheap on purpose right I want to keep the cost down if this works awesome if it doesn't well we'll have to think of something else but but uh, I mean this is really easy to, to drill through it's really easy to uh, get the holes in so I thought I'd give it a try and uh, I wonder you know we're gonna have to add some cost to cooling so I'm gonna have to think of a way to cool it anyway thought that was would be interesting for you guys the cookie sheet DUI grow LED for an indoor <laughs> a bedroom hydroponic you know a, a deep water culture type system trip zero out